Welcome to Katarina's Infamy. Second episode of this year. It was supposed to go up last week, but it didn't. Not much more to say about that other than perhaps fitting because last week I was, not last week, the week before, I was talking about failure, to give yourself permission to fail and then to fail better. So in that spirit, I decided to already fail you and me and um, here we are. Well, be that as it may, last time I did announce an amazing giveaway of this uh, wonderful keychain with a cat on it. So I am honoring that and um, I want to thank you all for your comments and emails and tweets. Uh, but there could only be one winner and the winner has been chosen unanimously by myself, the one voice that counts. And I've decided that the winning comment is from Bruno Amamaria. And I'm going to read you his entire comment because it's rather lovely. He says, great advice. We should all fail better indeed. I think you should talk about your opinion on the evolution of women's wrestling, especially now with the Royal Rumble. Love you, Katarina. Well, thank you, Bruno. I love you too. Brilliant subject and timely because it is the Royal Rumble this week. First of all, let me start by saying that I think it's amazing that it's even possible. Not just accepted and pushed for and desired and people want to see it, but also possible just in terms of the sheer amount of women that are out there now that are so talented and so hardworking and so creative and have these amazing gimmicks and skills and the landscape wasn't always like that you know when i first started the first two promotions that i worked for and trained with i was the only girl i'll never forget the first time i walked into training at hammerlock before we trained every time we'd do like a little shoot fighting contest so we'd all sit in a circle and then John Ryan, the trainer, would pair us up and give us a little shoot fighting, a couple minutes or whatever. John Ryan looks at me, he goes, I don't know what I'm gonna do with you. But then a few rounds later, he just, he pointed at me and pointed at one of the guys and he goes, you guys fight. And then after that, I was just one of the boys. And to be honest with you, I loved it because it gave me the opportunity to not to not treat myself any different. I was expected to work just as hard, train the same, and in the end it worked out for me. And the same thing repeated itself when I went to FWA. And of course I have Alex Shane to thank for that, who booked me, and also Mark Sloan, of course, who again in training treated me like I was no different than anybody else. And so for me it was perfect because I got to stand out, but I also got to train with all these guys who were amazingly skilled and I learned a ton. And so I have to be grateful for the way that it was when I first started because for me it was an amazing springboard. Just the visibility that I got and the notoriety and in my mind some incredible matches with these guys. That being said, I understand that for every one of me there's probably a few women, girls, that may have wanted to get involved but felt sort of left out and didn't quite dare. Now things are different and I love of course that it's so welcoming now towards everyone. I love that the playing field is being leveled and the standard amongst the women has just improved so much. I think it's really amazing and I think that this Royal Rumble is of course a historical landmark in that not just that there are so many women around but people want to see it and they're asking for it and they're pushing for it. It's really part of that big discussion of women's and men's equality and what we are thinking of gender roles to be and what we are defining them as. And so that makes me very happy. Um, brilliant question. Thank you Mario. This keychain is yours. Please do email me your address. I'll show it again. Uh, I'm gonna make another video next week. No giveaway next week because I have an idea for a topic, but if you do want to email me or tweet me any suggestions, info at katarinasinfamy.com or tweet katarinasinfamy, hashtag katarinasinfamy. And also I'm working on a Q&A session, special Q&A session, so if you have any questions that you want me to store and stockpile, and I've already started because some of you sent me some questions already, then please do so as well and I will keep them and that will be like a special episode in the upcoming weeks. All right, well, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think about the women's evolution and the Royal Rumble and I look forward to seeing all of you very soon.